Hi, everybody. This is uh, Silvio Canto in Dallas, uh, Texas, on Monday, April the 26th, and welcome to our video commentary. Well, believe it or not, Joe Biden has been president for 100 days. I know that's hard to believe how time flies, but uh, we're at a point right now, the, the famous 100-day mark, where, you know, maybe some conclusions and some observations can be made uh, about the presidency. Now, I caution you that 100 days is generally still with, within what they call the honeymoon period, which means presidents tend to get high marks in, you know, in the early days as president. There's a certain sense of rallying around the new president, and he's generally given the benefit of the doubt by most people. That usually disappears as uh, the year goes by. Usually by the fall or by November of this year, we may see some different numbers. We will wait to see if that's the case. Based on the polling data, four different polls that came out, he's anywhere from 50 to 52 to 54. He's in that range. So he is at a majority level, but not over 55% or even 60%, which is more common for presidents at this level. He's getting high marks on the virus, and that's easy to understand. I mean, look, he was basically handed a finished product. I mean, the vaccines and everything was already in place when he came in. So he simply, you know, Trump set the table, and Biden pretty much told everybody to sit at the table. So that was fairly easy for him to do. Uh, they passed uh, the COVID package. Again, that's an easy thing to, to do, $1,400 to people. That's an easy thing to, to do. Uh, the biggest problem that he's facing is on the border, where his numbers are way down. And that's a problem that could get worse for him. The other problem that I think is going to be a big problem for President Biden and the Democrats in general is the price of gasoline. You know, gasoline is expected to go up. You know, here in Texas, we're paying 260 Well, that's higher than, of course, we were paying 100 days ago. So, so the numbers at this stage of his presidency would be positive, but not as strong as you normally see in a honeymoon period. And there are clearly some problems, some balls in the air that could be very problematic. The border, the price of gasoline, and any potential international conflict that I think could explode, such as, for example, China invading Taiwan. Uh, that could be a real problem or Israel, let's say, bombing Iran. That could be a real problem and something that would put the United States in the middle of a conflict uh, that would be uh, very serious. So we'll see how it looks. I think uh, my guess is that when we do this video in September and October, that his numbers are not going to look as good as they do right now. Thank you for watching. And if today is your birthday, happy birthday. Bye-bye, everybody.